Hi guys, and welcome to another unboxing video for the Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month Club. So this month, I think it was an adventure theme, and I just want to start off by saying I am not affiliated with Paradise Fibers. I do purchase these boxes with my own money, and then give you kind of my breakdown of thoughts and things of the value of the box. So even though I do have a referral link in the bottom that is available to any Paradise Fibers customer and basically if you click through that it will give you a pop-up that will I think if you spend a certain dollar amount it will give you a percentage off and then give me a five dollar credit and that's just in-store credit to use on their shop and yeah so not really affiliated but I do get a perk and they do have more than just fiber. It is fiber, knitting, crochet, yarn, dyeing, weaving. I mean, they're in, you know, all, all fiber arts. Uh, equal opportunity shop. So, you know, just because you see this and go, oh, she's talking about fiber. It is not limited to the fiber. <laughs> um, but I believe this month's box was adventure themed. And so we got our little... I believe Jeremy said this was a Eunice Moon sticker. Eunice is their uh, logo sheep, and she is in the moon. It came with this tissue paper this month. And sometimes you can purchase these stickers by themselves afterwards. They have them, I think, for a dollar on their site, but it just kind of depends on what they have left over for those. Um, let's get these papers out of here so I don't show any discount codes. <laughs> um, I think that's all of them. I apologize if I miss something. So this month we got a packet of, this is a country classic. I believe it said it was a 20 gram packet. I don't know exactly what that translates to in four grams. What they sell on the site is a three ounce or three gram jar. Did I say ounce? I meant 20 gram. <laughs> this is a I think it said 20 gram on the paper uh, packet and their jars in the store are three gram. I assume this includes the weight of the paper and those jars do not include the weight of the jar. But since I don't know, uh, the jars are $7, but I assume a lot of that is the price of the jar. Like I'm going to have to find something else to pack this in because of course this would be pretty easy for the littles to destroy, but I believe my husband said, because I did make him read it before he left, that I got a pine green color, or something like that. I know somebody else got like mountain aqua. I'm like, oh, so jealous. But the other dyes that I bought earlier this year were in like a turquoise and a purple. So a green actually is a really good color for me. Okay guys, that was just slightly comical. I left the fiber in the house. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I didn't have anything to show you but this month what we received I assume this is the new organic Polworth top um, it is a very nice soft sheep wool I assume it's the organic because that was the new one that they had just put up on the shop I do believe they have a not organic and honestly guys organic when it comes to fiber and things does not impress me uh, from what I have studied, although this I believe is imported, so maybe they have different standards at least, in the United States last I knew, which I haven't been up and up on details lately, but last I knew there was no actual, people say they're certified, but there's no actual certification process, it's just they like to think that their stuff is all organic, and other, and different people have different meanings, so if this is imported, they might actually have um, standards and things to meet but last I knew at least in the US there was no actual um, certification process for like organic animal products it's just in your vegetables and things you can get the actual certified organic but that was a very nice and it's an undyed fiber since we got our dye powder and we also received this very lovely I will admit to that um, camel fiber blend and this is a 50 50 camel and silk 
Now this fiber by itself is extremely expensive on their site. For a four ounce bundle, which is what their stuff usually comes in, it is $46. So what we received, we've received four ounces of the organic Polworth, or at least the Polworth, no matter, which is a breed of sheep if I did not specify that. Um, this we only received two ounces, so this would be approximately a $23 value since I assume this is exactly the fiber that I found and linked to. Of course, with the Polworth, I'm not sure if that's the fiber that we were given. That is a 16 ounce or $16 bag according to their site, which I think, again, because it's organic, and I don't think, I think the price is a little in, inflated because of that. A lot of their four ounces are between like 10 to $12. So I think because this is a $23 value um, that this does help equal it out. So we'll say that this bag is at least worth the $10. <laughs> I know that's kind of mean of me, but I, I, I really do think that the organic is just a uh, thing people say to make to inflate their prices. <laughs> that's a personal opinion with somebody who has limited but some experience in agriculture stuff. So <laughs> to say that, like I said, this is super expensive. I was browsing because I was looking for just the price of these materials by themselves because I have spun a bag of the camel down uh, which was in this and so I was looking for what those prices were individually and it didn't really come out to be much if any cheaper to get it and then blend it yourself <laughs> because the camel fiber was like $21 and I think the tussle silk was another 24 or something dollars for you know an equivalent thing so that'd be well I guess that would be eight ounces of fiber versus this four ounce or well this is only two but the $46 is based on a four ounce package uh, but while I was searching for the silk I found they do have an which I hadn't seen before because I probably would have purchased that before and maybe I just maybe they included it back in October when they added some other things and I just didn't notice it they do have a alpaca tussa silk blends that are in the natural animal fibers and those were only $17 for four ounces so if this is a little above your price point guys um, camels and alpacas camels are a very short fiber length if I remember correctly and alpacas are a little longer so if this is out of your price range I would highly recommend to go and get the alpaca silk blends because they're just a little more affordable and I assume that was for four ounces I guess I didn't check so <laughs> I might be giving you bad information but anyway so that was our fiber and then for our little extra goodies we received um, okay, pick up the one we received this little lavender pouch which is supposed to be good I've kind of heard some mixed um, opinions on that that but the lavender is supposed to help with moths and other insects it might be sorry for the wind guys it might be better for other insects because I've heard actually your best moth proof protection is to actually just move things around regularly and then for our tasty treats well tasty treat we got a saltwater taffy which is always appreciated and we got, and thank you Paradise Fibers for listening <laughs> to the complaints. Well, my complaint. And once again, we have a progress keeper and not just a stitch marker. So a removable stitch marker or progress keeper. Um, Paradise Fibers, you can also not use the um, earring backs and not just the lobster cloth. I find that I use both of those. I tend to not use the well, I'm doing a cable project right now, and ones like this that have the lobster claw, I am using to mark increases, whereas the ones with the earring backs, I'm using to label my cables. 
so <laughs> I do have a separate use for both kinds and the earring backs would also be useful for knitting I mean you can use these in knitting too but sometimes they get a little fiddly for crochet uh, with having to pinch that and the earring backs can be a little easier but since you seem to have listened to the let's get some removable markers sorry for the wind guys you're glad I didn't record yesterday because it was super windy yesterday. Um, yeah, so that was our Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month Club box. Like I said, this is probably $23. Um, this was, I'm going to give it only uh, the, we'll give it the 12 because I think Bullworth is a nicer fiber on the scale. So what's that up to? 30, can't do math. Can't do odd math. <laughs> 23 and 12, 20, 35 dollars. So that is your price of the box. And then you also got, and I don't know if, um, oh, and that was a. It's supposed to be, I think, moss inside the uh, little stitch marker thing. Um, this packet. I don't know how much that goes for. The three ounce jars go for, or three gram jars go for seven dollars. So I don't know if this that. Yeah, like I said, I just, I don't know how much uh, powder is actually in here. I do want to say it is uh, quite a bit. I mean, it feels like quite a bit, but I don't know how to price that since I didn't see these little like seed packet containers of dye on their shop. So I don't know if that would be the value or not, but I am very happy to see that at least with their prices. Again, this box I think is a little inflated in price um, just because this is that specialty fiber thing and I did see that they have you know not that camel and alpaca are the same thing camel is a little harder to get a hold of I would assume uh, but you can get the alpaca fiber for a cheaper cost so this is at least for what they have labeled on the site, a good box. But if you want to get similar items and spend a little less money and create your own box, I did give you that little suggestion of the hidden gem of the alpaca silk fiber. And I know they do have a llama silk fiber too because that's what came in the October box. And I don't think I was stocking the site to see what the new fibers were then. So I might've missed it if it was added around that time of the year. But yeah. so this month for what are we June 2019's fiber of the month club box I do give it a thumbs up although like I said this is my opinions I probably I'm very happy that I purchased this box I probably wouldn't recommend you go out and just spend all the money on all the fiber knowing that I can get a cheaper version of this fiber um, but I probably would not go out and buy the $46 version of this fiber. So I am happy to have this box because I will still get to play with this fiber without having to spend that money. So on that note, I do recommend this box because you do get to get those fibers that are much more expensive on their website and get them at least to play with on your own. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this month's unboxing video, and I hope you will come back and join us for the next one. If you like these little unboxing videos, I hope you hook the like button and subscribe. Talk to you later, guys.